over now, and both teams are at full strength as Colorado guilty of icing. Now we're going to have a fight. Parker's been wanting to go with Colbert for two games. He's going to get his chance now. Scott Parker and Bob Colbert measuring one another right in front of the Blackhawk net. Grab him by the beard. Now they come together. Parker. Oh, a big right hand from Probert to the side of the head, and he followed up with another. And Probert, oh, now he ducks Parker, and Parker hasn't been able to get anything started yet. He just ate about four right hands, and the linesmen step in. Parker doesn't want to be done yet, but he might have a problem with <laughs> the officials if he doesn't let go here. Pat Scott Parker and the media guy list Bob Probert as a player he would pay to watch. Well, he's getting paid here. The linesman trying to get the two separated, but Parker just won't let go. Doesn't want to be embarrassed here on home ice, but he's going to have to wait for another day to have a chance to answer Bob Probert here. Now his teammates coming in. They're fearful that abusive officials could come into play at some point here. And now the two finally are separated. The Timer showed the young gunslinger a thing or two there. They were all right hand. 4-1 Colorado. This is Blackhawk Hockey. Won the Avalanche 7.07 in the third period. And Bob Probert giving a lesson to Scott Parker. First rounder in 1998. Wants a bit of Probert. And he likes Bob Probert. But Bob Probert gave him a couple of good knuckle sandwiches. That oh. one there. Oh, boy. Oh. That would hurt. That dropped Parker. First of the four number one picks that they had, they spent on Scott Parker. Six foot four, 235. Uh, probably a nice.